Hello, Forestdale first graders. Ranger Hannah here, and I might look a little bit different today. Does anybody notice what's different about my look? If you notice that I'm wearing sunglasses, you are right. And that's because today we are observing the sun. Now to observe the sun, there are a few other things that are required. Sunglasses are definitely useful. This hat, also useful. Do you notice where it's providing shade around my face? And lastly, if you're gonna be out in the sun for a while, you're gonna wanna have some sunscreen to protect your skin. And today is nice and bright and sunny. So I'm wearing all of the sun protection that I can wear. Now I switch sides. Can you notice that the sun is now on my back and not directly on my face? This makes it a lot less harmful on my eyes. Forestdale students, we are in the backyard again and we are taking a look at the sun to notice its patterns. Now, do we remember what the sun does for plants? It is somewhat of an internal clock for plants and animals, also one of their needs. Now, how do you think the sun works as a clock for plants and animals? Hmm. I want you to think about the times of day that you hear birds. I just heard some in the backyard. To me, it seems like birds might like when the sun is out. Now I want you to think of some animals that you see when it's dark outside. Hmm. Let's think about that. Now I also want to take a look at where the sun is in the sky. It's not directly over me. It's not to that side of me, back in the shade, but it's right there. So today I want to challenge you to become a sun scientist and I want you to notice where the sun is in your house. Throughout the day, I want you to notice what rooms get sunlight through the window versus what rooms might not get as much sun. And tomorrow, I want you to notice where the sun is in the morning, around noon, and then in the evening. I know Miss Wheat's class know north, east, south, and west. So I want you all to guess which direction is east and west from those observations. I love the sun and so do plants and animals. So let's become sun scientists so that we can observe and know the sun better.